Police conduct SWAT raids all the time. They're looking for criminals. But there's one raid on one home in Montbello that has raised plenty of questions considering who lived in that home. Ruby Johnson is 77 years old, and even police now admit she did nothing wrong. Nine News reporter Angeline McCall is our invest and our investigative team have been working on this story for a long time. Tell us about Ruby. Yeah, we've been working on this for several months and to set the scene for you guys, Ruby Johnson is 77 years old. She's lived in Montbello for about 40 years, raised her children there, just really a kind, nice neighbor to everyone who's known her in that community. And if you aren't familiar with Montbello, it's an area in Northwest Denver and the majority of residents there are Hispanic, Latino and African American. All right, boys, we're here. This is on January 4th, 2022. That's a clip from the body camera video. Ruby is at home at that time watching TV and she hears a bullhorn outside of her house telling her to come outside. Police got this search warrant because a truck was stolen from downtown Denver with multiple guns inside. The owner of that truck tracked it to Ruby's house using an app, the Find My iPhone app. Turns out she had nothing to do with that crime and the technology turned out to be unreliable and police did really nothing else. No surveillance, no real investigative work, if you will, and basically just took the truck owner's word at face value. And I said, you know, I need to find out what's going on and who assaulted my mom. And I said assaulted, but I did not mean physically assaulted, but assaulted her mentally, emotionally, because she was so upset. Family believes that this wouldn't have happened in another neighborhood, a more affluent neighborhood, and that there would have been more checks and balances done to ensure that they were suspecting the right person and the right home. You can watch the full story tonight at 9 and 10, but even all these months later, Ruby is still traumatized by what happened and still doesn't even feel safe in her own home thereafter. It scared me for a second when we saw that video um, of, of them arriving. Yeah, and it scared her because it is a knock and announce search warrant, so it wasn't a no knock. But even with that, they're still showing up with a bullhorn. They're showing up with an entire SWAT team. And so, of course, that's really jarring for people who experience something like that. Any as far as the truck itself, was that even there or did they later locate that or that just was truck was later located in Aurora, um, but not that day. It was found thereafter, and it turned out that none of the items were in Ruby's home. Police have now said that she had nothing to do with it, but um, as far as where the guns are today, they're still not found. It's a scary and irrevocable act when you do something like that. You, you can't really take it back. Uh, we'll look forward to more on that. Thanks, Angeline. Thank you.